All right, guys, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. And today we are taking out the VFM Mark V Mercenary Edition vehicle. It's quite um, a good vehicle, I'm not going to lie. It's a very, very good vehicle. It's the VFM. And I haven't made a VFM video in God knows how long now. I think last year I made, made, um, made the last one. And I wanted to catch up with the VFM. Just check on how it's doing. See if it's... A little bit different to how it was before. So, has it changed? Is it still probably the best premium you can buy at the moment? And, uh, yeah, it is. The VFM Mark V. If you're considering buying any premium vehicle, I would recommend this vehicle. Even if you're like, but the AMX 10P Pack 90, that's a tier 4 and it's a really good seal club of vehicle. But the VFM is just such a special vehicle. It, it blends... The AFV mobility and with the light tank special abilities of the high mobility as well. As well as the good armor of an MBT and a fantastic gun that should really be... It is a perfect light tank gun, a 105mm gun. Dealing about 350-360 damage, about 330 penetration. Accuracy isn't too bad, about 0.09 degrees spread. Reload time very good at 6.04 seconds. It's a very, very good gun. And as, as well, with the armor of this vehicle, I think it's 140 to 160 millimeters on the front plate. And it's very, very well angled. The turret as well has got some very strange angles to it. And that's still very thick armor. It can bounce a lot of rounds. Despite what they say about this thing being a light tank, it's almost like a battle cruiser in the sense. It's not a cruiser. It's not poorly armored. But it's not as well armored as a battleship. But it is that highly mobile, very powerful version in between. That's very, very good. Load a heat round and finish off the BMD2 with 379 damage there on the heat round. Now, that wasn't even a, f a high damage roll for the heat rounds at all, really. That's about the same as an AP. I could have finished him off with one, but a heat round secured me the kill quite easily there. And um, what's that? So we've got a Leopard 2 AV. Fire it there. Hit him through the side. 354 damage. We've also got an OF-40. That Leopard 2 AV is going to be very, very hard to hit. Um, I can't penetrate the front of those things. Despite the gun being very, very good, it still only has light tank penetration. Which is... It's mediocre. It will go through well-aimed shots on the front of MBTs. It will go through sides and rear of MBTs. It can take on other light tanks and AFVs, artillery, stuff like that. But the front of an MBT, is um, it, these things can't really do it very well. Not even the front of an OF-40 turret can the, the VFM gun go through. So you want to watch out about that as well. The uh, penetration is not as... It's good. It's good. I'm not going to tell you that it's bad because it is a very, very good thing. And I like it. It's just an all-round good blend for a premium tank. The good mobility, good armor, good firepower is brilliant. Gun depression as well and gun elevation are not bad on this vehicle as well. I think it's about 8 or 7 degrees on the, the um, front. The rear of the vehicle though, you can see there that the engine deck actually raises up. So there is basically no gun depression behind this vehicle at all. You just want to take that into account. It, it can screw you over a few times when you're playing this vehicle. But if you keep it in mind and you know that you can't aim over the rear of your vehicle, then... You should be alright with it. So now we're going to start taking on this OF-40. And there is a Centauro there. Big 105mm gun. Spot him for the team. And back up. But I don't fire on the move. I stop. Aim for a half a second. And then quickly put a round into him. And then carry on backing up. Now that the Centauro is dead. There's not really any threats to our front. Except for this OF-40. Who doesn't seem interested in this. So take him out on the side. Reading the minimap. There is a Stingray that looks like he could be coming around behind us. And I know... That my VFM can out brawl him. Come round, angling the vehicle. He bounces a heat round off me. Now I'm going to start wiggling the tank towards him. But the Stingray gun is very good. He hits my lower plate there. Dealing 319 damage. Now, there's not really any way he can get out of this at all. Then, yeah, really. Come on. Come on, son. And finish him off. Now, there's one thing I wanted to chat about. is the swing fire that's up on this hill. So, dealing with him up here... He is on elevated ground to us, which is a bit of a problem for our highly angled hull. As you'll see here, what I'm about to show you is that we are here and the swing fires up on the elevated ground. When he fires his ATGM like this, it will go up at 45 degrees and it will come down onto our armor like this. 
which means that the penetration is going to be much easier. As you see here, this is the VFM armor put on there. There's our uh, angled armor. So the missile is going to come in at whatever angle he's fired it down at us from his elevated position, which means that the armor thickness for that penetrator is not going to be as thick as, say, there. You can see by that that from him firing on the elevated ground, he has a much higher chance of penetrating us. Which is something that I didn't really want, but I had to really rush him. I couldn't stay back. I had to spot him, keep him spotted, and use myself as bait to, for him to fire us. But just taking that into account there, that a swing fire on elevated ground can penetrate angled hulls like the VFMs. And, well, Leopard 2AV. Yep, the top of the turret is a weak spot, guys. If you're on elevated ground as well, firing down onto one, fire into the top or rear of the turret, and you will penetrate quite easily. Knocking him out with only taking one round in return. What did we do to him? We did 1,370 damage and he only put one round into us for 427. Quite easy there, taking him out. To put one into the side and two through the top of the turret. There's the Gavozdika. We've loaded a heat round. This should be easy. He's just fired. Come up, fire 488 damage. Really powerful. Now, you see here, that's the elevation or the depression behind the engine deck. So we have to quickly just traverse the hull. And at, since we're at close range, it doesn't really matter. We just hit him. There he, oh, bounced off the rear of a T-64 turret with AP. Shouldn't miss this round, though. And fire another one. Straight through the rear of the turret. 39 damage. Four enemies left. There's a Leopard 1A5. Can we hit him? Yes, we can. Straight through on a critical hit with an AP round. 456 damage on a crit through his engine deck there. Firing into the engine vents. Which are the critical spots on a vehicle. If you can hit them, fantastic. Always go for them. T-72, fire at him. Blow both his tracks off. And now since I have enough HP to spare, I'm going to bait myself. He fires at us. He's got no rounds to fire back at us. He's still tracked. And he is a goner. What was that? We did 5,533 damage with six kills as well. We are top tier in the VFM. That team... We completely steamrolled them at 14-0. Completely annihilated them there. And I hope as well that my uh, really good editing skills on paint.net also helped you. I know you probably already know it, but I just wanted to put it out there. Just in case there's someone that watches this video that doesn't know that. About the swing fire. When they're on an elevated position, the ATGMs also get a uh, very good penetration through angled surfaces. Which is the same thing, really. You could apply that to any vehicle on an elevated surface firing down an angled armor. Apply it to any any gun that's firing down. And you just want to be careful of that. So what do we get? Master Gunner, Ace Tanker, and we got Gold Medal. With nearly a million credits earned and 27,000 reputation there for our first battle of the day. We came top on the team for kills. Top on damage. Top on reputation. We completely steamrolled them, guys. And that's why I love the VFM. The VFM pulls off games like this quite regularly, actually. If you're a com Even if you're just a competent player, the VFM is very forgiving to your mistakes. And it will take you on to get you so much credits and reputation. Probably the best premium tank in the game by my standard. So if you are considering buying a premium vehicle of any sort, I recommend you buying the VFM Mark V. So, guys... Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.